Welcome Stellar fans. Stellar is second to none when it comes to accessibility, on-ramping and off-ramping money worldwide. We're going to hear words from Julian Martinez, a senior developer, comparing Stellar with others. Also, we're going to cover Apple to use Circles USDC. We'll look into that and that'll bring us to Stellar's technology being recognized by the Digital Pound Foundation and UK Crypto. We're going to check out some clips from a webinar. So if you're a Stellar fan, you come to the right video, please hit the like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with future Stellar videos. Let's go ahead and dive in. Quick wise quote to begin, the greater the difficulty, the more glory in summoning it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempest. Don't forget to keep your valuable crypto assets safe and offline with a decent biometric wallet. If you haven't taken your assets offline yet, now is the time to do it. Think about it with possible risk of cyber attacks or exchanges going down or freezing your assets. It's smart to get them offline and onto a hardware wallet. If you purchase it through an affiliate link in the description of any video, you get an amazing deal and it does help support the channel. Thank you. Let's listen to Julian Martinez. He's a senior developer for Stellar. He's going to speak about smart contracts and why Stellar does it better compared to the competition. This is an exciting clip. The way he puts it together for us, it's super bullish. Hey everyone, my name is Julian Martinez, senior developer advocate and common man here at SDF. You can find me on X at J underscore dev 28. I'm online quite a bit and I see what y'all are saying. I'm bullish on a lot of it, but there is one tweet that I simply must fade. This is Straight Facts with Stellar. Danelle said this. Bobby Three Lines said this. Something only available on Stellar. Can you elaborate? Smart contracts aren't exactly a novel idea, so I'm not sure what you mean by that statement. Solana, Ethereum, Algorand, Cardano, all have smart contracts, all have casinos, all have this, all have that. You can't get the coins off the network. That's it. What are you gonna do with the MetaMask balance? Look at it. Where's the accessibility? Only with Stellar. In this industry, we've seen countless upgrades. We've seen back-end upgrades, front-end improvements, speed, efficiency, but only with Stellar have we broken through with the accessibility upgrade. So where can you send money to a wallet and withdraw cash? Local currency, well, maybe at over 100,000 MoneyGram locations available in 180 countries worldwide. Let me ask you, how decentralized are we really as an industry if every on and off ramp requires a centralized exchange and a bank account. Not very. All I'm saying is if you really want to use blockchain for what it's meant for and actually control your money, not use a bank account just to participate in DeFi, then no one does it better than Stellar. This is the novel idea. Despite Ethereum being in the headline, this is great news for Stellar fans because Stellar Compared to Ethereum, there's no comparison. There's hardly any gas fees with Stellar. It's faster. I mean, it's more practical for everyday use if people are going to be using it for applications like this. Apple's partnership with Circle could open up a $15.7 trillion market for Ethereum. Well, what could this do for Stellar? Circle to launch USDC payments on Apple devices. You know, there's not only USDC on Ethereum. It's also on Stellar and also Algorand. Circle CEO Jeremy Allaire recently hinted at a transformative development in digital payments following Apple's decision to open the iPhone's NFC payment functionality to third-party developers. Allaire hinted the tap-to-pay payments using Circle's USDC stablecoin are incoming soon. Now, some might say this isn't really bullish for XLM. They're talking about USDC. You have to understand that it burns XLM per transaction, but I'd say the icing on the cake, the biggest factor is going to be the attention it's going to bring to investors uh, putting the spotlight on XLM. It continues that this development has the potential to significantly impact ETH prices as USDC is built on the Ethereum blockchain. Well, what about Stellar? What about Stellar? Stellar is much more practical. It's only a matter of time. People will notice the difference as time goes on that Stellar is far far better than Ethereum when it comes to transactional costs and speed. USDC, you know, people using USDC on their Apple iPhones, it's only practical to use the one that is fastest and has less fees. 
Speaking about Circle stable coins and stellar technology, check out this webinar from the Digital Pound Foundation that's taking notice of Stellar's technology. They recite a quote from Denel Dixon here. The transformative power of stable coins lies in their ability to integrate seamlessly into our digital lives, providing real-time financial services that were once unimaginable. The potential is limitless. Let's go ahead and check out some clips. One thing I want to add is they're not bringing up Ethereum stablecoin technology in this webinar. To take it forward from here, so over to you, Tina. Thanks, Helen. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you guys today and for Crypto UK to share this opportunity with the Digital Pound Foundation. Um, I'm Tina Baker-Taylor, and I'm on the board of Crypto UK, and it's a pleasure to be with you today. Um, so society and everyday life has been exponentially changed since the internet enabled us to transfer and receive data around the world securely, instantly, and for free. And over the past decade, blockchain technology has opened up the possibilities of integrating the speed, reach, and always-on information platform of the internet with finance, enabling an ability to upgrade and transform our financial system. The evolution of blockchain and tokenization specifically now allows for money and value to be shared in the same open, transparent, and real-time capability of the internet. The very first stable coins emerged in 2014 and were initially collateralized by other crypto tokens. And in 2015, we really saw the rise of the first fiat backed stable coins and they were made available to the market. And these assets were originally designed to allow traders to move value across borders and across trading venues with reduced price volatility during that time and without the friction of having to cash out and in at multiple trading venues. However, stablecoins quickly evolved uh, to be considered as a convenient payment mechanism, giving their uh, ability to remit money worldwide seamlessly 24-7. So our first speaker, in my opinion, is a true pioneer in the stablecoin payments ecosystem. I definitely don't want to steal her thunder, but in my opinion, she has been trailblazing a path to increase access and prosperity around the world like few um, uh, around the world that few others um, have been able to do and has created partnership opportunities with world leading organizations and traditional financial partners um, that really demonstrate the possibilities for stablecoin in an undeniable way. But I will let her tell you more about this. So it is my great pleasure to introduce Danelle Dixon, the CEO of the Stellar Development Foundation. Danelle, over to you. Well, thank you so much, Tina. That was an awesome introduction and a great way to get into the discussion around stablecoins. Uh, it is such a pleasure to be with all of you here today to talk about the impact of one of my truly most important topics that I try to bring to light all the time, which is stablecoins and their role in making our financial system more accessible. I've been in blockchain for about five years now, and I've seen a lot of industry transformation in that time. And in many ways, it echoes parts of my earlier career in Web2, where I worked on some of the web's most challenging content problems, like net neutrality and privacy. The web took time to mature, and it took time for us to get people comfortable with purchasing things online, inputting your credit card information, your banking online. But here we are today with excellent UX design and privacy controls, and we all made that leap. So it was through my Web2 work that I learned a lot about what it takes to get people on board for technological change and to get people comfortable with innovation generally. And that's where we are with blockchain and digital assets right now. We're demonstrating why this is an important transformation for the global financial system. We're explaining why stable coins and tokenization of real world assets are an essential part of that. And in my time with you today, I'd like to talk about the transformation journey, sharing the transformations that have already happened today, the real impact that stable coins and digital assets are making in the world right now, and also exploring where innovation goes next. There is a lot of work yet to be done to realize the impact for future transformation. To start with this transformation and impact we've seen so far, I'm best suited to tell this story through the lens of what we're working on at the Stellar Development Foundation. Sometimes I'm going to call it SDF for short. Um, and what's happening on the Stellar network. For those who aren't familiar, Stellar is a public blockchain that is decentralized. It's 
It's fast, it's scalable, it's sustainable. It was really, really built for payments and asset issuance. And it's built for financial products and services. It offers builders smart contract functionality and a protocol optimized for payments with a design that's intended to keep fees low and to provide transaction speeds that can scale with increased adoption. It was designed for fiat backed assets like stable coins. And it was something that we were doing way back in 2014 before that was even a word that existed because the network was built with the idea in mind to make money move like email and tokenization of secure stable assets have always been at the center of that design. And our role at the SDF, it, it, we're a nonprofit organization, is to support the development and growth of the Stellar Network and that ecosystem that's built around it. We serve the ecosystem of NGOs, enterprises, small businesses, governments, and solo developers and entrepreneurs that are building on the Stellar Network. We do that by offering tooling, funding, and through strategic collaborations, all in an effort to drive toward our mission of creating equitable access to the global financial system through using blockchain technology. We like to say Stellar is where blockchain, blockchain meets the real world because we, we believe achieving our mission requires a focus on utility and a focus on improving daily life. Stellar's design and optimizations are focused on what drives that kind of utility. Low fees, fees are a fraction of a cent per transaction for developers, fast transaction time, ledger close in five seconds, sustainable, the consensus mechanism is low energy requiring annually the same amount of energy as a few dozen homes in the United States. And importantly for this conversation, asset issuance. Every type of asset from fiat currencies, securities, CBDCs, and more can be digitally represented on Stellar in just four simple steps. With Stellar's built-in compliance features, Asset issuers can easily tokenize assets with adaptable functions designed for any organization's specific needs and standards. Assets tokenized on Stellar benefit from real-time payments, nearly instant transaction confirmations, settlements with finality, and globally accessible uh, on and off ramps and wallet partners. This is what has allowed the Stellar ecosystem to deliver some incredible products that are in market today using stablecoins. Stablecoins on Stellar are used to power impactful use cases like delivering cash assistance. There are about 300 million people globally in need of humanitarian assistance, requiring almost $50 billion in funding annually to meet the need. In 2022, shortly after the war in Ukraine broke out, we realized that Stellar had both the tech an ecosystem of products and services to help make a positive difference on how that cash assistance gets delivered. It was a matter of bringing those component pieces together to create Stellar Aid Assist, a disbursement system that allows aid organizations to deliver cash assistance to vulnerable populations almost instantly. The UNHCR, the UN's refugee agency, has been using it since the end of 2022 to deliver aid into Ukraine. To date, it has, has distributed over $2.2 million worth of aid to more than 2,000 individuals, and it's, it's expanding it to other geographies. How it works. It leverages a USD stablecoin, USDC, issued by Circle, and a digital wallet called Vibrant, and the Stellar Disbursement Platform, a solution that lets you send bulk payments so that money can be sent anywhere almost instantly. And once that money is delivered, it can be cashed out into local currency thanks to MoneyGram. MoneyGram integrated on Stellar back in 2021, making Stellar the leading crypto to cash off-ramp in the world. These on and off ramps are so important to solving that last mile because all of this great stuff doesn't really matter if people can't get on or off the blockchain. So integrated wallets like those used in Stellar Aid Assist are able to cash out into local currency. So Stellar Aid Assist brings some important benefits to organizations and recipients. It brings traceability. So it allows end-to-end -end tracking of funds, which is really important on both sides of the equation. Portability, recipients are able to safely transport and access funds when they need them, whether they are moving across borders or forced to flee. And thanks to USDC, the use of global reserve currency to protect against potential inflation and local currency devaluation. Stablecoins power so many other products on Stellar that are providing that real world utility that I've been talking about. 
For example, Decaf, it's a digital wallet that is globally available and also integrated with MoneyGram. It is helping people pay local employees in regions in Latin America, giving them payments and stable coins as a hedge against inflation and keeping them safe from carrying that cash, which would put them at risk of theft. These uses wouldn't be possible without stable coins. Stable coins are a core component technology. And through these ecosystem companies that are using stable coins, the Stellar Network is helping expand financial access and empowerment for some of the world's marginal, most marginalized communities. Since its inception, Stellar has been designed to complement traditional financial systems. And that's what these uses show. They show how blockchain can interact with what's already out there, traditional financial infrastructure, and to create real impact. Last year, Franklin Templeton issued the first US registered money market fund on Stellar that has driven cost efficiencies for them and, it, and now represents more than $360 million worth of real world assets on the network. I bring this up because I think that with more traditional financial institutions getting behind tokenization, it's a market that is expected to be about 12 trillion by 2030, that we could see some interesting future innovations on stable assets. Blockchain and stablecoins provide us incredible technology to transform today's fragmented financial system. But now it's up to all of us to use these innovations to show the world that they're delivering utility. It's time to get excited for the Meridian 2024 event coming up in London. Danielle Dixon, she highlights a special thanks to Boys Club World for putting this piece together. What do the Central Bank of Brazil, Stripe, and Idris Elba have in common? They'll all be speaking at the Stellar Meridian Conference on October 15th to the 17th in London. This is a different kind of crypto conference. Instead of talking about what if or maybe one day, the programming is anchored around actual real-world examples of crypto being used to improve everyday financial services for people around the world, like the Decaf Wallet, which is revolutionizing local economies in San Francisco, Colombia, and beyond. Join policymakers, investors, and builders on October 15th to the 17th in London. Can make it to London, but want to go keep your eyes peeled for a scholarship program announced here next week <laughs>